you don't want to miss this. I was really surprised. Hey, how's it going? John here again with Fit for Knives. Today we're going to do part two of uh, my big blade chop off. Uh, these are my personal blades out of my collection and uh, we're going to put them to use today. So I'm going to just do this real quick as far as specs on these knives. We're going to go over them real quick and uh, then we're going to get to testing. So here we go. Uh, first we have the CRKT Karen Hood. Um, it's 1095 steel, 15.4 ounces, has a 9 inch blade, 15 inches overall length. And the second knife is the Schrade SCHF 45 Leroy. Um, it's a 8 CR 13 stainless, weighs 1 pound 7 ounces. It's got a 10 and a half inch blade and 16 and a half inches overall. The next knife is the K-Bar uh, Jaros Chapa. I think that's how you pronounce that. <laughs> so if I'm wrong, just let me know. Uh, it's 1095. It weighs about 15.8 ounces. It's a 10 inch blade and uh, it's 15 inches overall length. Okay, the next giant monster we have over here is the Mtech Extreme Raptor. Okay, Th <laughs> this thing weighs two pounds, okay? It's ridiculous. Uh, it's seven CR13 stainless steel. The blade is 13 inches, it's crazy. 18 inches overall it's more like a short sword really and then this is an interesting knife over here this knife i picked up years ago at academy and it was only like 25 or 30 bucks and uh i believe it's made by a company uh called monarch you know i've done a lot of research on this knife i really can't find a lot of info on this thing i don't even know what kind of steel it is possibly a stainless steel uh, but uh, it does weigh 15 ounces as a 10 inch blade and the overall length is 15 and a quarter inches all right so just some quick specs on these knives and uh, like i said these are just out of my collection and i'll just going to test them out you know we're kind of bored at home a lot of us have to stay home and uh, I just kind of want to entertain you, uh, you know, with some of my collection and put them to use. All right, let's see how it goes. Okay, so for the first test, we have the uh, one by eight treated lumber here. We're going to uh, do 10 chops with each blade and uh, see which one does the best. Hopefully, I'm accurate enough to... Uh, make a decent assessment here. All right, so 10 chops, let's go. And by the way, that was the CRKT Karen Hood. The next one is the Schrade Leroy. Okay. Next, the K-Bar Jaros Chapa.
Okay, the next blade is the Mtech Extreme Raptor. And then last, the Monarch Bowie Knife. Okay. Now, hopefully, I did 10 chops per knife. Kind of lost count there <laughs> on some, but I think we'll get an, a good idea right here. And from what I can see, all of the knives performed about equally. Okay, so the first was the CRKT Karen Hood with about one and three quarters inch depth there. Okay, the next knife was the Schrade Leroy. And I, I'm gonna count this, uh, right here, I'm gonna count that as a depth. So, this slice right there. So we have about two and three quarter inches here for the Schrade. Uh, for the K-Bar, Jaros Choppa. About two and a half inches. Now for the M-Tech Extreme. about two and three quarter inch depth and the Monarch Bowie knife. Um, a little over, I would say right at around two and a quarter inches there. So, all right, first we're gonna start out with the uh, Karen Hood from CRKT, see how this one does. problem with the half inch, five eighths. Okay, we got about three quarters of an inch through there, about three quarters of the way through. Now for the one inch, I'm gonna try that again, that was my fault. All right, so another three quarters of an inch way, the way through there. Now the big boy. Uh, nope, it didn't, <laughs> it didn't phase that. Next, the strayed Leroy. Half inch, no problem. No problem there with the five eighths. Easy work of that. Big boy. Oh. Nada. Nothing. All right, the K bar. Jaro's chopper. Nice. Very good. Very good. Okay. Moment of truth. Man. I think it's gnarly tough. 
MTEC Raptor. Whoop. Went through that, no problem. Five eighths here. No problem there. Losing my hose. Very good. Okay. Now this thing. Man, this is some tough stuff here. <laughs> I don't know if anything's going to penetrate that. Now for the Monarch. Now this is the lightest of all the knives in this lineup. No problem there. I'm going to go twice just to... Okay. Like I said, lighter knife. Got about halfway through the 5 8 hose. Now for the one inch. Do it again. Yep. About three quarters of an inch through that. And I'm pretty sure it's not even gonna dent this. Nope. Good as new. Okay. Let's go to the next test. Okay, the next test is the uh, one inch uh, flexible PVC pipe. Karen Hood. No problem. The Shrade. Easy work of that. K bar, Gerald's chopper. MTEC Raptor. Oh, really easy. And the Monarch Bowie knife. All of those did pretty well on that test. Let's go to another one. Okay, uh, like part one, we have about an inch and a quarter limb here. We're gonna see how many chops it takes for each knife to get through this. Starting with the Karen Hood. Okay, that was, like I said, that's a pretty light knife. Went, went through it, but I, some of that was my fault. I would say about five chops, even though I probably did about seven. Okay, the Shrade Leroy. Unbelievable. Well, that's my first major failure for a Shrade knife. It, it must have had a weak point here, as you can see. Well, I think that one failed the test. I really like this knife too. Okay, now we're gonna test out the uh, K bar Jaros Chopper. All right, so three times on that one. Nice. MTech Raptor. Four. 
Monarch. I'm going to go right about here with this one. Now that bites in there very well. Man, too well. <laughs> If I could get it right, it would... Alright, so... Very clean cut on that one. And this one is the lightest of the knives. The finale was not what I expected. <laughs> so, let's go over uh, the performance of these knives. The Karen Hood, it was okay. Uh, it's, it's a very lightweight knife. Um, the steel is about three sixteenths of an inch. So, uh, I do like the belly here on the blade. Um, the handles were comfortable, no hot spots there. You know, it did, did well. I mean, uh, as, as it expected with a lighter knife. I mean, if you guys are into uh, lighter knives. This would be a great knife for your pack, you know, something that's lightweight that you could keep in there. Would I take this in the field? Not sure. Uh, I probably wouldn't. Okay, next knife. The Schrade uh, SCHF 45 Leroy. <laughs> Man, I really like this knife. You know, I've used this knife a few times, but uh, Obviously, this was the time it was going to fail, <clears throat> and I'm, I'm glad it failed here and uh, not in a situation where I really needed it. I mean, this is, uh, I've, I've seen a couple of failures uh, with these knives, but I didn't think it would happen to me, but it did. So, obviously, this knife is not even in the running. Uh, the K-Bar, Jaros Chapa. Um, good knife, you know, great, great chopper, about three sixteenths of an inch thick. It does have the choil here, uh, the choil, so you can choke up on this one. So, uh, overall, great blade, um, did well in all the tests. Uh, the only gripe I would have is the very smooth handle here. And like I said, I'm doing this, uh, review really quickly. Now, the, uh, mtech extreme raptor this thing is just ridiculous <laughs> this is a two pound two pounds of metal uh this is just a beast i mean this thing is like five or six millimeters thick i mean this thing is it's it's well over a quarter inch thick it's massive uh, you know the sheer weight of this thing is 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 like an axe so <laughs> i mean would I take this in the field with me? Probably not. It's a, it's a little big and hefty. And, uh, you know, it is the 7CR13. So this was 8CR13. You never know what will happen out there. And surprisingly, the little cheap Monarch that I got at Academy years and years ago did pretty good. It's a very light blade. Uh, this blade is only... I, if it's it may be over an eighth eighth of an inch thick but not not by much very lightweight blade this would be another good blade for your pack and the handle on this one out of all of these was actually the most comfortable so so of all the testing i would have to if i was going to pick one it would probably be the k-bar the jaros chapa I am disappointed about this shrade though. I mean, this is, man, I use a lot of shrade knives. I got a lot of them. Uh, now this one is, is the stainless. Uh, some that I have are the 1095, but wow, what a disappointment. But anyway, like I said, it could be a bad run of these. You never know. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed part two of my large blade chop festival and i uh, hope you guys uh, like and subscribe you guys tune in again i'm getting this channel started so please support me and because uh, we'll have plenty of more 
uh, plenty more uh, projects and reviews and different things to do. So uh, I appreciate you guys watching. All right, this is John with Fit for Knives. You guys take care. Thank you.